Even if game engines don't officially support modding, it ends up happening anyways, so we might as well make it easier. Luckily, making a game engine run outside code is surprisingly easy. Since my game engine is written in C++, I can use built-in functions to execute any file I want, leading to possibly 5 something gentillion viruses activating. It's a better idea to run code in an isolated environment where it only has access to the functions needed to modify the game, without giving it access to the entire computer. This is called a sandbox. One popular way to do this is with Lua, but after mentioning this and starting some kind of programming language war, I accidentally learned about the existence of WebAssembly, aka Wasm. Apparently, it allows programs to be written in C++ or Rust or any of these languages and compile to a Wasm file that is run on a sandbox embedded within a program. I was curious. After doing 5 minutes of research, I downloaded the WebAssembly Micro Runtime, or WAMR. Next, I read mountains of WAMR tutorials to learn how to use it in my game engine. After painfully adding WAMR to my game engine, I first used WAMR to create a WebAssembly sandbox when the game begins. Mods will be loaded into the sandbox, so we have to give mods access to functions in the game engine so that they can actually do anything. For this example, I made a function in the game engine called print, which will log a string to the game console. During the sandbox creation, we export the print function to the sandbox, giving mods in the sandbox access to the function. Now it's time to create the actual mod, which I will also do in C++. To use the game engine's print function, I copied it to the mod file but without the code because this print function is going to be linked to the code of the game engine's print function when we export it. This mod will also have a function named main, which will call the print function, which will execute the print function in the game engine. Then I used the mscripten SDK to compile my C++ mod into a Wasm file. Back in the game engine, all I must do now is load the Wasm file into the sandbox and search for the main function in the mod so that I can execute it. Now that our mod and game engine can talk to each other, the possibilities are basically endless. Not only can things like numbers and strings be passed between the sandbox and game engine, but entire chunks of memory can also be transferred, allowing me to add modded terrain generation. In my game, the world is split into chunks made of about 30,000 blocks, so to generate a chunk, we define a function in the mod that takes an input of a chunk of blocks. The function is going to fill this chunk with whatever blocks we want from our mod. To use this function, the game engine allocates a section of memory from inside the sandbox, which is going to represent our chunk. Then we search for the chunk generation function in the mod and execute it, using the chunk as the function input. After the function is done generating the chunk, the game engine uses the data to render it. Now we have a world that is generated from whatever the modders want. That's basically everything I wanted to show. So goodbye.